Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So, let's begin. Last time we did that little special Eevee stage with the skill boosters, this time we have a new safari. So, I'm going to start off by checking in to get our results of the Mega Gardevoir competition. Now, I didn't try too hard there. We got in the top 2800, so I got a level up and a Mega Speed up. I didn't quite get that Raise Knack level, but that's okay. I'm not too uh, disappointed. You win some, you lose some. I wasn't going to be too concerned there. I was concentrating more on other stuff. That said, this week, there is Tornadus I reappearing and Landris T as well as Gyarados is here, and this is Safari. So in the Safari, there is Shelter, Pit of, Tranquil, Cloister, and Pheasant, Shiny Magic Harp, and Shiny Gyarados. So yes, this is the Safari. The first of maybe more that we will be Shiny Hunting. So they suggest bringing Electric types, because Electric types will do the best overall. So, finding the Shiny Carp and the Shiny Gyarados is probably going to be very, let's just say that gets kind of fun. So, I'm actually just going to bring some electric types. I'm going to bring Mega Gengar. I probably could have gone Mega Rayquaza, but I figured Gengar is a little bit safer of a bet here. Just considering, especially considering there's going to be some, probably some non-support that, that are going to be small, um, just add-ins. So, it's kind of, you know, um, I, I'd rather just, uh, Let's go with Gengar, it's safer. So I'm actually going to use Zachrome and Magnezone. Because Magnezone has that power of 4+, plus, which definitely isn't bad. So the first thing we are going to find is going to be Hit Of. So that's not too bad. Uh, it's probably the most common thing here, I would assume. And all I can do is just go for it. <laughs> So I'm going to try to get the Mega Evolution off as quickly as I can, I suppose, because once I get the Mega Evolution off, it's pretty much just simple as just big combos, and that's it. Pretty simple, really. So with that, we are going to take down the Pit of. All we have to do now is try catching it. That sounds fun. And at 25%, it's going to break out. So at 50%, I'm actually, um, I'm actually just going to pass on it, to be honest. Because there's really no reason to go for a Great Ball on a Pit of. So yeah, that was the first heart, and that was, you know, that was unfortunate. But on the second heart of the Safari... I managed to find a shiny carp. The second heart of the safari. I find the shiny magic carp. I don't even have any real words. Luck is just a thing. So one of the nice things about the shiny magic carp is it spawns a lot of coins. Of course, coins are not really something I needed at the time. So I just stared at that board to look for what I wanted to do. And then I noticed, you know what? I might as well try to get a combo with um, Magikarp. So I'm going to want to go for one of the Magikarp in the center. Or should I say, go switch a Magikarp with one of the coins in the center. So I'm just going to pick... Um, I'm just going to pick one of them. After just sitting there and staring for some time. Because this thing is kind of rare, I didn't want to make the wrong choice. So I'm just going to do that. And it has an ability called Cheer. Which is different. I will grant it that it's quite different. Now this thing is actually fairly bulky, so you want to be a little careful with it. 
Now, I was able to get lucky enough for it to um, set up the coin disruption in the middle to set up for a uh, combo on its own. So I got really lucky there. I didn't really have to do more than one move. But you don't always get that lucky with this. Either way, with that, we did manage to take down the Magikarp. And it's going to have a catch ability of 54%, so I am figure Great Ball will be guaranteed. I'm going to get some coins back anyway, but we're going to catch it in a Pokeball, so those coins are kind of moot. But that's okay. Got an S rank, 700 coins there. And it has the attack power of 30, the water typing, and the ability cheer, which apparently increases the chance that the next match's skill is triggered. So that could actually be really useful. Unfortunately, it's only a base 30 mon, so it's probably not going to be that that useful. It's just kind of cool to have a shiny Pokemon. So, hey, you know, shiny Pokemon are a thing. So yes, the first thing I captured in this safari was the shiny carp. It's really crazy when you think about it. So the next thing I'm going to find is going to be the Tranquil. In the first move, I'm just going to go for the Magnezone because I want to get combos. I want to get rid of those, um, those blocks. And I want to get the power of 4 plus. So, mostly the combos though. Mostly the combos. So I figure at this point I can get the Mega Evolution off of Gengar. The problem is... Well, um, which one would give me um, a Gengar Mega effect right away? So I picked the one that actually had a T formation because that just made sense. Of course, we didn't get as good a combo as I wanted, but you know, you win some, you lose some, I suppose. So I'm going to go for the Magna Zone there, and that's actually not going to get the, the victory for us. So I'm going to have to go for yet another move. So yes, that was kind of, you know, it happens. Magazine didn't quite do enough for us, but we are able to take this thing down with one move remaining. So with that, we are going to be taking down the Tranquil. All we need to do now is capture it. So at this point, I'm thinking, you know what? There's really no reason to go for a Great Ball on this thing, unless, I, um, unless like, until later on, because this is kind of probably a common Pokemon, more or less. But we're going to catch it in a Pokeball at 21%. So, we're only going to get a B-Rank defeat. We're going to get 200 coins back. Not that it matters. There's Attack Power 50, the Ability Flap, and the Flying Typing. With that, we have Captured Tranquil. Once again, so far, the ones we've captured are probably not going to have the most use for us. The Pokemon from this Safari, I don't think, are the most versatile in the world. There's only one from this Safari that I really foresee ever using. But next up is going to be Shelter. Now with Shelter, this is interesting because you can get you can easily get um, a four or five coin match. Of course, at this point in time, I don't need any coins unless I spend any on Great Balls. But I'm under the assumption that I'm probably not going to need them. So. My, constant, my my focus is more on being able to get the victory than it is on being able to get the coins. Besides, if you don't get a victory, you don't get any coins anyway, but the thing is, the quicker the, vic the, quicker the victory, the, le the fewer coins you probably get. However, the better catchability you'll, you'll get. And obviously, you're looking more for the catchability than the coins, because we don't really need any coins unless we can get a capture. So, I'm not even going to go for any coins in that attempt. But the coins are kind of nice when you're trying to coin grind and, well, when you're trying to do the safari instead of coin grinding, when you do need coins. But when you don't need coins, well, you know, you don't really need coins, so there's really no reason to actually do that. All we have to do now is actually catch this thing, so it's going to have a catchability of 16%, which is kind of low, but, you know, you never know. So, with that, we're actually going to catch it in a Pokeball. It wasn't the first time I found a shelter, but it was the first time I it was the only time I captured. It's attack power 50, the water typing, and the ability block smash. It's kind of interesting how it has block smash, especially considering what Cloyster has. But we'll get there. So, the next Pokemon we are going to find in this safari is going to be... another pit of.
As sad as that is. Of course, we didn't catch the pit of yet, so, you know... I can't complain about finding it. <laughs> pit up is probably the most common thing. That's why I kind of held off on catching it. But, you know, if we could catch this thing, that would be kind of nice. So, I am just going to, um, pretty much get the Mega Evolution with Gengar off and just get combos. Now, funny enough, I don't think I got one combo over 100 in this entire Safari. But, Safaris are probably a good place to do that. I don't know, I still recommend going for the Dodoo for the uh, 100 combos. But I guess if you're doing a Safari anyway, it can't hurt to attempt it like that. If you're going for the 100 combo uh, mission, that is. So it's going to have a catchability of 22%, and this time we're actually going to catch it in a Pokeball. So, so far in this Safari, I'm at a point where I really haven't really had to use any Great Balls. Cut the S-Rank, there's attack power of 30, the ability quirky, and the flying typing. So with that, we S-Rank captured Pit of. So now there remains only the fully evolved Pokemon of the Safari. Of course, they are a little bit on the rare side. But whatever. You just gotta do what you gotta do. So the next thing we're gonna find is gonna be Cloyster. Now with Cloyster, I'm gonna go for the Zekrom at the bottom. I could have gone for a power of 4 plus with Magnezone, but I'd rather get rid of these blocks. Because getting rid of blocks is kind of important when you want to get a victory. So I'm actually gonna go for Zekrom there, which ended up being, the, being a mistake because I didn't get off the um, Block Smash Plus. But it was kind of more important to go for the blocks than it was to go for the power of 4 plus. And we're going to take this thing down anyway, so it really makes no difference. Put in a little more damage than I went for the Magna Zone, most likely. But I can't complain because, you know, results. So with that, we're going to be taking down that Cloyster with 5 moves remaining. And now we just need to catch it. But it's going to have a decent catchability of 30%, which isn't the best catchability in the world, but it could be worse. And it's going to break out. So at this point, Cloyster's kind of rare here, so I'm just going to go for a Great Ball at this point. I figure I've done enough. With, I've had enough luck with Pokeballs. In this Safari, I can honestly say I didn't have that much luck. But <laughs> we are going to get an S rank right there, so we're going to get 200 coins back. And it has the attack power of 70, the water typing, and the ability Rock Break. Now, what I was saying before about Shelter is kind of that Shelter has Block Smash and Cloyster has Rock Break. I honestly think Shelter has a better ability, because Block Smash gets rid of the, the unbreakable blocks, while Rock Break gets rid of the breakable ones. So I honestly think you're better off with Shelter's ability, though Cloyster still admittedly has a better um, attack power. That said, the next thing we are going to find is going to be an Unpheasant. So, that thing actually also does coins for you, but it's a little, it's a bit rarer than uh, Shelter is. So, I mean, don't, I wouldn't rely on that for coins. So, I'm going to try to get rid of some of those Unpheasant in the middle on the first turn, because I figure that is the best chance we have of pretty much getting combos later on, because there's no other Unpheasant other than the one at the bottom that was just added. So, I'm just going to waste the first two turns getting rid of the ones in the ice in the middle, because those barriers simply had to go. Then at this point, I can try getting rid of the ones in the top right. Now we have access to full Skyfall, and we're good. So now it's all about getting combos. So we're going to get the Mega Evolution off with Gengar, and now it's time to have some real fun. So I'm not going to get a chance to be able to get those four coins at the bottom, but... I'm not that low in coins to begin with, and I'd rather get a, de a better catchability anyway. So with that, we're going to have four moves remaining, and we're going to get a bunch of bonus combos. But most importantly, we're going to be taking down that Unpheasant. Nice 50 combo there. Not that it mattered in the slightest. But with that, we have taken down the Unpheasant. Now all we need to do is catch it which is definitely going to be a pleasant thing, won't it? Alright, so it's going to have a catchability of 30%, so 
Lick, Cloister, you can pretty much imagine what's gonna happen. On Pheasant, it's gonna be a bit unpleasant. So, I'm gonna go for a Great Ball because it's, you know, the penultimate Pokemon I need from the Safari, so, you know, there's no reason not to go for it, except... You know, it costs coins, but I, I was just happy enough to catch. We're gonna get the S rank there. But yeah, we had to spend a Great Ball, so on Pheasant was a little bit unpleasant. But it has an attack power of 60, the flying typing, and the ability Nosedive. So basically, attacks that occasionally deal greater damage than usual. So I guess it's a little bit like, um, like Hyper Punch, I guess. Of course, it's only a, it's a, it's only attack power of 60 mon, so it's not exactly going to be the uh, best support Pokemon ever. But it's not bad, I don't think. Probably easily outclassed by a bunch of other ones. But still probably not bad. So, the last thing I needed was the shiny Gyarados. That is why it took me it took me the entire week to finish this safari, because it took me several days to find it. So, while looking for the Gyarados though, I decided to use the Angry Pikachu instead of Magnezone, as suggested by Michael Spaulding. Thanks for suggesting that because Shiny Gyarados will actually set up on the first turn pretty much a bunch of five matches. And, this and the Angry Pikachu will pretty much do about half of the health to it. Which is probably more as soon as you get the Super Bowl off, which is pretty likely considering you have a match of five. Which is definitely a little bit better than if you were to go for a Magnezone. Now, despite all of that, I'm not going to get any block smashes off with uh, Zekrom right there. So, I'm not... It's still going to cut it a little bit close. And I figure if I can go for the Mega Evolution, I'll be in decent shape. But at the same time, I want to get rid of blocks. I'm just going to go for the Mega Evolution and hope for a combo of some sort. Not quite going to get that, but since there's the Mega off... Now I can just go for the Pikachu with the Gengar, trigger the Mega Effect, get a, a nice little combo in there, and take that thing down with two moves remaining. So, now the moment of truth. Can we capture the final Pokemon in the Safari? The, shi the, the shiny Gyarados from the Lake of Rage. Maybe it's not from the Lake of Rage, I don't know. Whenever I think of shiny Gyarados, I think of the Lake of Rage because, you know, that is the most famous place to get a shiny Gyarados because it's the only place you're guaranteed to ever get one. So we're going to get a catchability of 32%, which isn't too bad when you think about it. It's pretty rare. It's only 1% chance of finding that or the shiny carp. Actually, 2% chance of finding either of them. But we're going to get a ca um, capture it in a Pokeball. I'll get 200 coins back. And there's the attack power of 70, the water typing, and the ability L boost, which I guess is another counterpart to, I guess, the T boost and plus boost, where if you match... Um, Pokemon in, well, you match the Gyarados in an L formation, you'll get more um, damage off. So with that, congratulations, we caught all the Pokemon in Safari. Also, this week, we do have the Tornadus Eye returning. So, with Tornadus, you, Tornadus can drop either a, tor a personal skill booster for Tornadus, or it can drop a Mega Speed Up. So I'm actually going to attempt this. I recommend attempting it every day. I actually dropped the plus five moves there, just because... Um, well, I wanted a better chance of being able to beat this thing, because the last thing I want is to, for it to drop and make a speed up and me to never actually be able to collect it. So, for 800 coins, I guess it's just an insurance policy, what can I say? And also, for those of you who are still doing the Safari and have not had the luck uh, to find and capture both the shiny carp and the shiny Gyarados. I wish you guys the best of luck. Unfortunately, there only is a 1% chance for each being encountered. That leaves 2% chance at most of finding um, either of them. So there's like a 1 in 10,000 chance that you'll find one, um, well, that you'll find a Gyarados, a Magikarp than a Gyarados. So. Right there with a quarter damage down that Tornadus is going to drop a personal skill booster. Of course it didn't drop a mega speed up, so I'm not as concerned there. I don't know. I haven't I don't usually use the power of five plus Pokemon too much because honestly power of five plus only triggers if you get a power if you get a match of five and they don't happen all that often. 
so it's kind of like, okay. I mean, I guess it could be good with something with the, with the shiny Gyarados, but if you were going for, um, Thunderous, but at that rate, you might as well just go for the, for the Angry Chew. So, I don't know. Either way, this thing, we're not going to even need the plus five moves. We're going to beat it with the five moves remaining. We would have been cutting it a little bit close, so I don't totally regret this. But, you know, I'll take it. We're only getting a personal skill booster, but there is a chance of this thing dropping a mega speed up, which can be good for you. We also get 200 coins for it, so who can complain? So, it's going to raise the uh, skills a little bit towards the power of five plus. Well, that's not too bad. So, apparently next week there is going to be a Mega Gyarados competition. Now, I do not think it's going to, if you get the Mega Stone, I don't think it's going to work on the Shiny Gyarados because it doesn't show a Mega Icon there. I'm also going to get a thousand coins for checking in, which is kind of nice. The Shiny Gyarados does not show a, um, a slot for the Mega Stone, unlike the regular Gyarados, so it's probably not going to Mega Evolve, but it'd be kind of cool if they did, but, you know, don't push our luck, I guess. At least we're getting something. Shiny Pokemon are a thing here, so I wish you guys the best of luck if you have not finished with the Shiny Hunting yet. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.